Hello everyone and welcome to another character theory. Today's character theory will be about four new more four four new more what? Four new characters. Stay slow. JL upset probably. So anyways. We are back talking about characters once again. And I feel like I'm not getting tired of this. I'm just like wondering when's everyone gonna like everyone people as well, people have already gotten tired of this sort of content, right? I know that this can get exhausting after a while, but just this gives us the opportunity to imagine certain scenarios and it gives us the opportunity to talk about characters while keeping them archived keeping my ideas archived to make sure that i have a sort of make sure i have thoughts about everyone and then I can reflect on the characters that I already have and and notice some specific tropes. Like maybe there's a character that has that's smart, make them dumb. I surprisingly don't have that many dumb characters, to be honest. I have a lot of geniuses though. Anyways, that's not the point. The point is, we are in, we're talking about, um, um, how do I, I really hate the name of this character. He's a hacker, okay? He he's a in real life hacker that can use hacks inside of real life. So that concept does in itself like all of the concepts that I make feel original, but once you add in some of the traits if it, it fossils away, you know? It doesn't feel, it doesn't have that emotional impact that you have when you first read one story. Like, I get it, you're smart, move on already to your sort of new concept. Or I get it, you're, you're, you have, you're good with words. I, I get it, you're manipulative i get it you're strong we need something new to add to sort of some of these characters and i don't know if i can decipher it but i can try don't bring up the past let's move back um that's kind of it He's a hacker. Nothing much to talk about here. Forgot about that. <laughs> um. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to get into the new characters. Alright, so here we go. We're just gonna... Well, actually, this isn't bad. This isn't, they're not, they look attractive, don't get me wrong, but this is 
like it's not crossing the line all right so this is purge trap yeah purge trap So the name, I mean, it's better than, I mean, I obviously got inspired by, well, ironically, this one isn't inspired by Chain Small Man. I didn't just swap the genders, although it looks like it. I, I gave her a chainsaw sword with different types of powers, traps, perks, and weapons. She is a killer and is the girlfriend of her. So, so th this is a yonere sort of situ situation we got here. Okay. Um. <laughs> well, unique, I guess. But what are you supposed to like learn from that? Like, how would that work, right? Once you win, do we pull Jackie Mo Purple and say they lose as well? We pull a sort of classic hero move where both the hero wins and loses. Like both of the hero and the villain loses. I mean, with so many abilities, so many powers, like, this is not just a regular person. Um, would they be selfish? I mean, I mean, everyone would, at one point at least. But maybe it would be a bit excessive, don't you think? I feel like that would kind of start the sort of problems her boyfriend has, right? Her selfishness. Maybe she's a narcissist. And of course, I, I can't make her smart. I can't make her smart because everyone else is smart. I'm looking at one right here of TAA. Terrible name, again. The amazing author has knowledge of thousands of books. All right. Um, can I find another one in here? That's surprising. All right, let's go to the next one. Oh, wait, look at here. Look at here. Zizagami. Always been an extremely smart kid. Okay, Kido Sharon. Wow, they don't actually specify. I don't specify they're smart. Oh, but I do. I do specify there being a enhanced doctor in a Matronic. You kind of have to be a bit knowledgeable to be a doctor. So there's that. All right. And if they were dumb, then it would have said it. So. Let's go to the next one. Chicago Lee. I hate the names I make. Uh, pretty smart and clever. Miss Absorbed. I hate this. The one that has the heart attack power that she can make them. S she can kill people with a heart attack, okay? And she uses this in a very smart and cunning way. Because of course she does. Let me see.
almost all of these characters, Zack is pretty clever and pretty intelligent as well. The one with the parkour and the, um, the universe where there was just elves. Yeah, Zack was there. Wait, no. No, no, I meant bump vampires. The, the vampire universe. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm losing track. And that's just three videos that I looked at. I can just go and scroll down the list of the series and I could probably find a dozen before I hit two digits. Like, that's crazy. We need to, like, tone down the intelligence. Or make some sort of different change. Not everyone can be smart. Not everyone has to be smart. To make them interesting. Anyways. What does that say for a purge trap? Well, consider that purge, you know? I have an idea. What if they kind of get a little bit of a purge like every single sort of year they get a day where they can express themselves they get a day of clarity a day of freedom a day of calming And maybe something happened on one of those days, which ruined it, and broke her. The one day that she has, the one break that she has, gets torn into two. Ripped apart right in front of her eyes. The day that she was looking for for a whole year. The anticipation rising through every single day. You go to sleep, you wake up, you mark one day off. You go to sleep, you wake up, mark another one. Like, and then once you finally get that, just for it to be a tragedy. And then you gotta wait on whole nother year that broke her well maybe it was one of the elements that broke her maybe the context of the day broke her maybe it was all of the above who knows anyways what I do know is that she had some sort of day that she was calm, she was collected, she was okay. Anyways. Alright, this one we're gonna have to like. I think that's going to be it for that character. Nope. Oh my god, I'm doing terrible. Alright, here we go. We got Shang the Power. Another original. Like, I mean like one of the OGs. Shang the Power. One of the first female characters I've ever made. Oh my god. She is a simple sort of magic antagonist that can use and control magic in any way and made her a deadly villain, deadly adversary, or whatever. I am not seeing anything. Let me check this one. Shang.
There's stuff, but that stuff. Yep. Nope, not what I need. Alright, so. Uh, um. I probably talked about it, right? Good God. Oh my goodness. Tomorrow. Wow. Last recording was almost. I gave you almost a whole hour of footage. Jesus. I need to calm down. All right. Anyways. Yeah, there's nothing I can say. Um... Yeah, that's it. For her. Oh my god. <laughs> Wolfmaster. Okay, let me just check. Just, uh, like, speed up. Nope. Of course, okay. Yeah, that's not gonna... Alright, so... We got Wolfmaster. She can summon an infinite amount of wolves to do her bidding. Use her abilities to hunt animals. She's cocky. Has a good heart. So, she's a hybrid of sorts. Anyways, she... Hmm. I mean, I guess she's a hunter of her own... Sort of... Family? Kinda? Well... She's... I guess she kind of hunts with her family because she's half wolf and she's cocky about it. She uses her abilities selfishly to win a title. Um, but has a good heart. I think what I. Wow. This doesn't seem like a character you would make a self book. I mean, you could. Don't get me wrong. wrong. There, are, there are still possibilities. But I... I'm struggling to see who the antagonist would be, right? Unless it would, we, we would go back to a trope where would try and find the creator we would try and find the one who made her her if that makes sense maybe if we do find her maybe she would want to praise her him them whatever they I mean, Wolfmaster is Wolfmaster and their sort of pride sort of diminishes. Their sort of their. understanding of who they are and their um want to 
be someone else. They don't want to be where they are anymore. They used to want to praise the one who made them, but now they just want to kill them for what they've done to her. 23 years of her obliviousness. Was it 23 years? Like, was it at birth? Who's to say, you know? Who's to say? Um, yeah, but that's gonna be it. Four new characters. Tell me which one you liked in the comment section below. You know the trope. And I will see you guys later. Oh, tomorrow is gonna be wild. Well, not tomorrow, but next week's gonna be wild. Next week, I'm gonna have fun. Oh, next week, I'm gonna have fun. All right. <laughs> next week. Oh, next week. Next week. You guys just wait. Next week. From all of these characters, next week. Ooh, man, next week. Next week is gonna be a sort of end of where we draw the line of character theories. I feel like we made enough of them at this point. And I'm the only one that likes them, but hey, that's just a theory. A character theory. Thanks for watching.